Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking another look at the performance of Intel's 12th gen Alder Lake mobile processors. Previously we've looked at the Core i5-1235U, in this the Dell Inspiron 165620 laptop. Whilst today we are taking a look at the P-series i5-1240P, which has a higher 28 watt TDP, up from 15, and in this case features DDR5 memory instead of DDR4. Our test system for this is this, the Lenovo Yoga 7i Gen 7, which pairs this Core i5-1240p with 16GB of LP DDR5 4800MHz RAM. Additionally, we're also going to be looking at the performance of the AMD Ryzen 5 5625U, both in synthetic processor tests and also gaming benchmarks. Details of the three test systems are on screen now and are fairly typical of what you can expect for an Alder Lake P, U and AMD Barcelo or Lucian based machine with DDR4-3200 seeming to be typical in the 1235U based machines whereas 1240P tends to be paired with DDR5. Comparing the processors side by side, we can see that the 1240p retains its mix of performance and efficiency cores, but it increases the count for these performance cores from 2 to 4. It also has a higher base clock speed for these p cores, so not only are there twice as many of them, but they should run at higher clock speeds at a minimum as well. It is worth noting, however, that level 3 cache size has not increased, and although the sort of base power for the 1240p is um, set at 28 watts, in this Lenovo, in the high performance profile which we use for testing, it typically only used 25 watts, and so may be less representative than some systems you might find which run at the full 28. The actual core configuration of the Iris Xe graphics remains the same across the two i5s, with 80 execution units available, but there is a around an 8% uh, increase in maximum speed and therefore maximum processing power, and a 50% increase in memory bandwidth in this particular test system. Starting out with the CPU tests and looking first of all at 7-zip, and comparing the i5-1240P to the 1235U, we can see that the higher power 1240P chip has a almost 40% advantage in this first test. This corresponds pretty strongly with the increase in power that it has available with that raised TDP, and obviously we have an additional four threads here. Comparing against the Ryzen 5 chip, and we find now that have, whereas the 1235U had a performance deficit, this now has turned into a 12% performance advantage for the Core i5-1240P over the Ryzen 5 5625U, albeit with higher power consumption under load. Cinebench R23 shows a 28% performance increase on the i5-1240P when compared to the 1235U, and you can see here in this test it is not only rendering uh, more quickly, but also it is dividing down because it is able to render 16 threads simultaneously rather than the 12 on the i5-1235U because the additional two P cores gives us an additional four threads to work with. When compared against the Ryzen 5, however, this is less impressive. A 0.6% performance increase is really within the margin of error for this test, although it must be noted that in single-threaded performance, the Core i5 does take a 20% lead. But when running multi-threaded, the 12 ident or 6 identical cores with 12 threads of the Ryzen 5 do a better job in Cinebench R23 than the mixed P and E core approach that we see here. Interestingly, in Geekbench 5, we do actually see a slightly better score for the Alder Lake U chip uh, in the single threaded performance, albeit only a couple percent, but the Alder Lake P takes a almost 40% lead in the multi-threaded test and a 15% lead when looking at the GPU. 
comparing against the Ryzen, we can see a more favorable result here as well for Alder Lake P. The Alder Lake U chip was already very competitive, matching in multi-threaded and beating it in single-threaded. And here we now see Alder Lake P in the Core i5-1240P gives a 5% lead in single-threaded performance, a 40% lead in multi-threaded performance, and even takes victory in GPU performance with 8% in its favor there as well. As again, with the caveat that we are using more power in doing this. So looking at the tests overall, and we can see here that whereas previously the older Lake U based i5-1235U trailed the Ryzen 5 5625U in some of the tests, we are now in a position where with the older Lake P i5-1240P chip, it now matches or exceeds, sometimes by a reasonable margin, the performance of that Ryzen 5 chip uh, in all of our tests here. This is, of course, at the expense of higher power consumption uh, and therefore potentially shorter battery life. And it does have to be said that having multi-threaded tests which load up all of the P and E cores simultaneously may not be entirely representative of most consumer workloads. Moving on to the first of our games tests, and here we have Borderlands 3 running at 1080p with a 50% render scale and the low detail preset. And here, despite the Iris Xe being no larger in terms of units and just having a modest speed increase, uh, we see a 27% frame rate improvement on the older Lake P. Thanks in part possibly due to that DDR5 memory, but also because we have more power available to it and to run the Iris Xe at higher clock speeds more of the time. This is not enough, however, to overturn the performance advantage of the Ryzen 5 5625U with its AMD Radeon graphics, which still has a 11% performance advantage in this test. Cyberpunk 2077, we are again running 1080p low detail preset and the Fidelity FX setting on performance preset. And here, this is quite a stern test for all of the IGPs that we are testing here. Gains here for the older Lake P Core i5-1240P chip are more modest than in Borderlands, with an only a 8% performance increase over the 1235U, suggesting that the you know the limiting factors here may not be the power or um, memory bandwidth in this case and could mill be driver related. The fact that the um, Alder Lake P makes very small gains in this test means that again it's trailing the AMD Ryzen 5 5625U and again by 11% in this test. Far Cry New Dawn fares better, however, giving a near 19% performance increase going from the i5-1235U to the i5-1240P. This brings average frame rates up to 38 frames per second and makes dips below 30 frames per second far less common than on the 1235U, which was really hovering very close to that 30 frames per second mark and often dipping below it through more of the test. At 1080p with the 50% render scale and normal detail settings however, the AMD Ryzen 5 5625U and its Radeon graphics are still able to take the advantage here with an average frame rate of 40 frames per second coming in around 5% higher than the Iris Xe of the Alder Lake P can manage. Our next title Godfall is being run at 1080p screen resolution. FSR on the performance mode and the medium detail preset. And here we see a really small increase going to the older Lake P chip with just a 4% increase in average frame rate over the Core i5-1235U. Given the extra power and memory bandwidth, this is quite disappointing. There is some variability in this test as when you look at it side by side, you can see things happen differently each time. But even so, this is quite a small change. This means that once again, we are seeing quite a commanding lead for the Ryzen 5 5625U, uh, with a 15% higher frame rates than the Core i5-1240P for its Radeon graphics. Grand Theft Auto 5 brings us back to more of what we would like to see here though, 
the Alder Lake P Core i5-1240P sees some really strong gains in the region of 44% over the Core i5-1235U. This brings the average frame rate up from 43 to 62, so over that 60 frames per second mark, which we really like to see. Obviously this title is older and Intel have probably focused more on optimizing their drivers for it, but that really shows and it shows the potential of these chips when they are given the extra power and memory bandwidth to take advantage of, and in this case it really is benefiting. That being said, once we compare to the Ryzen 5 5625U, while we do have the Alder Lake P's first win of this test, we only have a margin of victory of 1.5% or thereabouts, a single frame per second between them. Um, this is despite the chip drawing more power on these longer runs, uh, so 25 watts versus 15, and having that 50% higher memory bandwidth with the Ryzen 5 platform still running DDR4 3200 memory. It is perhaps fair to say that with Hitman 2 running at 1080p medium detail and no render scaling available here, that we are perhaps running these settings a little high for these integrated graphics. But even so, we see 26% performance gains on the Core i5-1240p relative to the i5-1235U. The fact it also has a 19% lead over the Ryzen 5 5625U does mean it is the only one of the chips tested here to break the 20 frames per second mark in this test, with 23.23 the result. Finally, we have a look at a slight outlier in these tests, which is Red Dead Redemption 2. Unusual as it uses the Vulkan API and not DirectX 11 or 12. And also in our original testing, the only title to actually perform better on the Core i5-1235U than on the AMD Ryzen 5 5625U. The good news for Intel continues here with a near 23% increase in performance when we move to the Alder Lake P uh, based i5-1240P. And because the i5 was already outperforming this when we tested the 1235U, this means we actually have a 36% improvement in performance on the Core i5-1240P versus the Ryzen 5 5625U. So this does show, you know, when the drivers and optimizations fall right for the Iris Xe, it certainly has the potential to offer strong performance, and in this title can get the best of the Radeon graphics in this Barcelo chip here. So looking at the overall performance picture here, and we can see with the i5-1240p, it is still quite a mixed bag. We see some titles like Grand Theft Auto V or Borderlands 3, where we're getting large gains, um, going to that higher power processor and the DDR5 RAM. In some cases, this allows it to get close or to beat the AMD Ryzen 5 5625U. In other cases, it still lags behind by some margin. We also see titles such as Godfall here, where we see very small performance increases, which is disappointing, but could be something which comes down to driver maturity. And it is also worth noting with a title like Godfall, this was one of the launch titles for AMD's FSR rendering technology, and therefore it's natural that AMD will have worked with them optimizing for the title more than Intel will have done. So overall, I hope you found this video useful. If you've got any questions, please do ask them in the comments. Hit like if you found it helpful, and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos in the future. We'd love to see what you'd like tested, so do let us know. Thanks for watching.